Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Um, all the students, parents, and teacher uh, from online, and hello, some students and participants here uh, in the conference room that um, I'm uh, sitting at. So I welcome you all. Uh, that's right. This is HKBU um, School of Communication and Film, uh, Department of Journalism. Uh, this session regarding uh, our uh, Jupiter Scope. JS2310, um, which is uh, broad based for students who are interested in um, journalism, digital media major, PR and advertising. And uh, we just had the PR and advertising major uh, explanation. And this time is the journalism and digital media major. I welcome all of you and uh, hope um, this session uh, will help you out uh, to find more about the information before you make any decision. Uh, my name is Bonnie Chu. I'm a graduate from here and I'm always proud of it at, as a HKBU and or alumni. And currently I'm the Associate Professor of Practice of Department of Journalism. And also I'm the Program Director of the Bachelor of Communication. So any of your study issues, if you have any problems, once you get in, uh, you are most welcome to contact me, like a study plan, whether you should go on exchange, things like that, okay? So our, our session will be divided basically into two parts only. The first part will be, I'll be using English to explain uh, some uh, basic and crucial facts of our program, our activities, our atmosphere here, and the second part, I will entertain questions. Uh, any questions you want to raise, no matter is in Cantonese, Mandarin or English, uh, you're most welcome. Okay, so uh, I think uh, you might be uh, watching a lot of videos before. So let's get started uh, immediately to our course program. Let me uh, switch to the PowerPoint first. Yeah, this is um, our topic today is inspiring future journalist. Uh, inspiring future journalists has always been uh, the goal and the teaching aim of our department, but it doesn't mean that, you know, uh, uh, studying our degree can only become a journalist. It's not that. Uh, we are a very good degree uh, focusing on critical thinking. And then uh, your multi skills in handling big data in particular. And uh, our students, our graduates, um, they have uh, different career paths after graduation. So no worries, uh, even if you don't want to be journalist, or uh, mm, I'm not too sure though. So just come and join us. Uh, we are friendly and this is a very fun program. Why study journalism? When we say that citizen journalist, everyone can be a journalist nowadays. I use my mobile phone. I have mobile phone. I can do whatever I want. I record something happening in the street, uh, but it's different. Journalism, uh, we call it open profession. It's a profession. Uh, in the digital era, uh, everyone with a smartphone, iPhone can use it to take photos, shoot videos, and publish social news uh, on social media. But such news, to be very honest, may not be that fair. Sometimes it's not accurate or partially incor incorrect, um, may not be objective enough or not comprehensive or not fair uh, to the people involved in the uh, collection of the news. And HABU's journalism programs aims at nurturing knowledgeable, visionary, professional, and ethical journalists who are dedicated to providing the public with fair and impartial reports that speak for the voiceless and record the undercurrents of the age. So we have great social responsibility. We are fun. Uh, we are having a lot of fun when you are doing our program. But more importantly, you come here for critical thinking, and also you know that journalists have great social responsibility. And a fake news, uh, I think uh, most of you have heard of it, fake news can cause anonymous harm to both individuals and the society. To fight fake news, people need credible news sources and trustworthy journalists. We are well-trained professionally. So we can be trusted. We train students to be the gatekeepers of the news industry by reporting faithfully and disseminating only accurate information. We expect our students to defend and safeguard the truth. We are truth seekers here, okay? 
why you choose BU? Uh, our program is very down to earth. Students learn the skills of using plain and concise language to report and analyze complicated social issues, political issues, economic issues. They would develop the ability to verify information from, multi, from multiple perspectives and identify fake news. Uh, the ability to verify is very important nowadays because it's so easy to get access to um, information. Students can learn the skills of multimedia storytelling through courses in shooting and editing videos, creating websites and managing social media accounts. So we uh, converge both traditional media and also the new media uh, in our course. In addition to mastering our various skills, our program emphasizes broad broadening students' knowledge in current affairs, economics, history, and culture, so that they are equipped to both local and international news on a broad range of subjects. Hong Kong is an international financial center. Uh, we have financial stream. Uh, our financial journalism stream lays the foundation for students who are interested in reporting market trends and the financial sector and asking why, defending the interest of investors. And uh, the use of big data is a mega trend that shapes social development. Our data and media communication concentration is Hong Kong's first interdisciplinary program in journalism and computer science. It seeks to nurture students to become data journalists or um, people who can handle data uh, who have both new sense and ability to conduct data analysis and research. And uh, so some of our graduates actually uh, become data journalists or uh, they join some professions uh, which um, need them to handle big data. Uh, this is the future. We value the importance of enhancing students' writing skills in English and Chinese, as well as their oral skills in English, Cantonese, and Putonghua, so that they can operate confidently in local, national, and international media, because you guys are the young generation of the global village. So uh, some of our graduates, for example, um, they went to uh, New York or some uh, former uh, Eastern Europe, European countries like that, from uh, Russian uh, USSR countries like that. And uh, what is the journalism undergraduate program about? Uh, this PowerPoint as is based on the current core structure. Um, for the benefit of students, we actually keep revising, uh, for example, uh, the number of majors, the number of concentrations, and also the number of streams. So when you get in, maybe there's some modification, but uh, more or less uh, in line with this, okay? So we cannot uh, have one uh, program or one type of concentration or streams that's never been changed. Okay, so I have to state that very clearly that this is subject to change. So when you get in, they might be uh, slightly different. So uh, all these reviews or, or changes are basically is because uh, we want to keep our students um, abreast of the uh, development uh, in the industry and in the world. Okay, so currently uh, we have a Chinese journalism concentration, international journalism concentration, and data and media communication concentration. So uh, data, as I uh, mentioned earlier, uh, is uh, jointly run by uh, not just the Department of Journalism, but also our computer science. So it's half computer science, half journalism, okay? And uh, we also, uh, under concentration, uh, no matter how many we have in the future, we have streams. Streams is more like uh, you also write a lot, film a lot, but you want to be a bit more specialized. For example, I like a, a video. So I want to be emphasizing on broadcast journalism, broadcast journalism stream. I want to be a news anchor. I'm very good at uh, speaking. So I want to uh, be a host, a TV host of a news program or uh, an uh, online uh, radio program like that. So I might want to focus more on broadcast journalism. So you join the stream or you want to join, you know, financial news agency, you take more courses uh, in financial journalism. And, uh, or at that time, mm, I'm not too sure. I want to have some more uh, general uh, journalism elective study first. So I'll join the general stream. 
Okay, so uh, when you get in, uh, we will give you time. No matter how the structure has been finalized, when you get in, uh, we'll give you time to understand every concentration and stream. And then uh, you can talk to the teachers and students studying that uh, stream or concentration before you make your decision. Okay, so um, journalism undergraduate program, what is it about? Uh, I just mentioned um, another a major difference, uh, for example, for Chinese journalism concentration is that um, we prepare students for career in mainly Chinese language media, but we do have Chinese journalism graduate who joined the English language media because our training basically is bilingual. Uh, is, but you just put more focus on the Chinese language. And um, for example, many CJ concentration courses uh, will be taught in uh, Chinese. Chinese, we mean Cantonese here. But for uh, uh, Putonghua speaking students, um, they have no problem in understanding that. And uh, for example, broadcast, we allow students to have their news program broadcast in Putonghua. That's no problem at all. Okay, and international journalism, uh, one major difference is that uh, all of the courses will be conducted in English. Okay, and many uh, internship related to inter -journal international journalism related to news agency, they go to Reuters, uh, Associated Press, and uh, Bloomberg, uh, South China Morning Post is the more English speaking, English language media and uh, data and media communication concentration is offered jointly, as I said, uh, with the computer science department. And it aims to train a new generation of digital journalists with advanced computer skills, uh, a data visualization analytics, and also um, you need to uh, handle uh, uh, data related to the media and also uh, journalism. Students from all concentrations uh, could opt could choose to specialize in stream. And each stream, uh, usually we have a quota, uh, but the department will allocate students to different streams according to um, a lot of factors, including their academic performance, you know, uh, um, uh, different uh, factors such as a, whether that student can handle, for example, broadcast. Uh, you might need to um, uh, just have a short meeting with the relevant teachers to see whether, for example, your uh, spoken language for that stream is okay or not, like that. It's very simple, usually. It's not an, even an assessment. We treat it as an, a, a meetings to understand each other. Student graduate appoint completing 128 credits in four years. And uh, what is the student learning experience here? I'll say that it's fun, uh, it's challenging and hardworking. Uh, you will know uh, the unknown side of yourself. Oh, I don't know that I can speak in front of the camera like that. I can be, you know, a, a host like a professional. I can film a documentary. I've never known about that. And uh, so we have a student practicum uh, running the following news platform. Uh, San Po Yan is the Chinese version. In Cantonese, we call it San Po Yan. Uh, broadcast News Network is for the broadcast stream students. And uh, the young reporter, uh, we call it TYR, is for the international stream student. And the young financial post and data story is for the data, the DMC, uh, digital media um, uh, concentration, communication concentration students. Uh, you can visit their uh, Facebook fan page and also go to our website to see uh, some of the students' work. And uh, we are very proud that uh, most of the work uh, were done by our students and under the supervision of a, a teaching staff. Uh, the teaching staff, you will usually just uh, focusing on the legal perspective and the ethical perspective. But uh, our editorial freedom uh, is very great in HKBU because we trust students and we give them the chance uh, to learn. And then uh, we will, they will be reviewed uh, by uh, teachers and colleagues uh, together. And uh, internship, uh, doing internship uh, in a very famous, well-respected local and international media, such as um, South China Morning Post, Ming Pao, you know, Singtao Daily, Cable TV, Now TV, Radio Television, Hong Kong, Commercial Radio, Bloomberg, Thomas Reuters, New York Times, many, many, the list is very long. This is just some examples. And um, uh, if you look at uh, all 
all these and even some online platforms, you'll see a lot of uh, graduates, they are working there uh, at different um, uh, levels of uh, uh, positions. Uh, some are at a manage managerial level, some are very fun line or in the middle uh, supervision level. Student learning experience. And uh, this is uh, something also very incredible that I'm gonna share with you. Uh, going on exchange in overseas universities for one or two semesters, of course, subject to COVID. But uh, if it's pre-COVID, uh, students could apply freely uh, with the HKBU university partners. We have a lot. Uh, some students uh, went to Denmark. Some students went to London, uh, Australia, United States, um, Czechs, I think Czech Republic, uh, many different uh, Japan, many different countries, uh, South Korea, we uh, had a lot of students before, uh, before the Squid Game, okay, even before the Squid Game, uh, our students went there, and then uh, for one semester or two semesters, and uh, some students with excellent academic and overall uh, performance will have the opportunity to do our double degree program, uh, which is first is the University of Queensland in Australia, which means you spend half of your degree in Hong Kong at Baptist and half of your degree in Australia, but you're still paying HKBU school fees only. Okay, because go to Australia is very expensive. And, uh, but because of this uh, double degree uh, opportunity, uh, you can do that or go to the U United States, uh, USA, uh, University of Missouri, I mean, and uh, again, you spend two years here in Hong Kong and two years there in the United States. Uh, Missouri is very famous journalism school there. And uh, again, you're just paying the school fees of HKBU, okay? So you might need to pay a bit also, and the university will also subsidize you a bit. And uh, so at different sources of uh, uh, combination of um, the financial support for uh, going there, but only the school fees part you only need to pay for the HKBU school fees, okay? And uh, the number of vacancies for these double degree programs is uh, very small, only for very good students. Usually we send out several students, like three to four, um, to one program a year. That's, that's usually subject to uh, the actual academic year. Okay, some, a lot of factors. Sometimes it's uh, uh, like the COVID, um, uh, the number dropped because of COVID student could not go like that. Okay, but usually the quota is three to four. But if you're really good and really keen to go there, why not give it a try, right? And uh, student learning experience also uh, is study trip. We're very proud of this one. Um, before COVID, almost uh, every year, we uh, bring students to um, international level, a uh, big reporting trip. This is not a study trip. Study trip, maybe you just go there and then uh, uh, you know, uh, visit a city and visit some places and talk to some people. This is, we call it reporting trips. Reporting trips means that there's a major news event happening there. We bring students there. For example, uh, we've been a lot of places. We went to United Kingdom um, about uh, the uh, issue of European Union and uh, the United States for their presidential election. Student went there, report on the sport uh, under the supervision of teachers like that. And then they also file story back. And then we cooperated with some local media. For example, um, we went to uh, North Korea twice. Students sent their story back and published by SCMP and Ming Pao. So students' uh, stories are not just published on our platform, but also on the real media. So we went to North Korea twice. And after that, on the right-hand side, you can, you can see the uh, book, the, the red one. Uh, is uh, Our students, uh, they uh, publish a book together about what they saw, what they experienced in North Korea. I myself, I led the second round of students, and it's a very eye-opening experience. I will never forget. Um, because uh, it's a lot of first in your life. The first time you see, oh, uh, North Korea. So it seems very far, right? Uh, we, we not just visited there, but we also uh, did reporting there. Okay, so it's very fun. And uh, I 
we had students going to Spain um, and also uh, Germany. Germany at that time, we went this many times. It's about the fall uh, of Berlin War anniversary like that. Uh, we want to find out, you know, after so many years, uh, after their unification, uh, how people felt about that and what's the latest situation, their leading role in Europe like that. And then uh, uh, some of our students even went to Rwanda, Rwanda, Rwanda. And then uh, they uh, interview people there and then uh, uh, file a lot of good stories. So um, for um, journalism department, uh, going on a reporting trip is a big deal and is one of the major characteristics of, of HKBU journalism program is uh, students like it so much and so much fun. And then uh, they learn a lot during the, the trip because reporting is not easy, but overseas reporting uh, is uh, extremely challenging uh, because you don't know the places, you don't know the people, you don't have the connections, but you still have to go on there. And uh, also you spend time with your teachers together closely. And then uh, so um, it's a, a very good experience. And uh, apart from um, internship and reporting trip, uh, we uh, always have a lot of workshops and seminars, uh, such as the Pulitzer Prize winners for uh, journalism students. Uh, you may know that Pulitzer Prize winner, uh, Pulitzer Prize is um, a very prestigious um, journalism prize in the world that uh, uh, before the COVID, uh, we would uh, regularly invite the prize winner, the, the very good journalist who get the awards, uh, fly to Hong Kong to share with our students um, how they um, uh, complete that story, uh, why, you know, what is the challenging uh, uh, experience like that. And we also organize the uh, HKBU SOPA Award Winners Forum. Uh, uh, HK SOPA is another um, uh, award. And then again, the winners uh, will also come to HKBU to share the stories and answer students' questions. Like, how can I take this picture? Uh, winning the you know, best photo like that. And uh, students enjoy it so much. What are the career opportunities? Uh, as I said earlier, and as I've been hearing, uh, people always have the um, uh, feeling that, you know, oh, joining Department of Journalism, I must be a journalist after graduation. Uh, of course, we want more uh, of our uh, students to join the profession, but at the same time, we respect their choices. And then we're very proud that our students are very well equipped that they can go to different professions. Um, they can go to private, they can apply for um, uh, government jobs or uh, go to different sectors and then no problem for them. And uh, most journalism graduate works reporters at, and editors in local international media, especially after right after graduation. It's very common for them, most of them. Some move into fields such as education, PR, marketing, business, and commerce. Uh, yes, PR, usually a lot of journalists, they move to PR because for PR, there are a lot of um, divisions of work. Uh, the PR they join usually is not the brand building, but is the uh, handling of crisis or the government relations like that. So if you have journalistic training, you will be a very good at PR um, for that perspective. Okay, so uh, don't just think that, you know, journalism uh, students, journalism graduate cannot be uh, joining the PR profession. Other joins the government public organizations, engage in public admin, management, those who are interested in academic research, become journalism and communication scholars by pursuing further studies in Hong Kong or overseas. Uh, we had a graduate uh, got full scholarship uh, over two million Hong Kong dollar doing PhD program in the United States. We had students um, got a uh, uh, zero point four million dollar uh, went to Cambridge uh, to uh, do a MPhil program. Uh, we had students who got full scholarship uh, going to South Korea to learn Korean and a master degree in diplomacy. So uh, we have so many graduates uh, uh, did their postgraduate studies and many of them actually got scholarships. Okay, so we're not just training. Uh, some people will just still think that a uh, Baptist like 50 years ago. No, uh, we're not just training the skills. The mind does matter more. 
your conceptual thinking, you know, your um, ability to learn like that. And over the past 50 years, our graduates had followed multiple career paths in different parts of the world. Many of them have become leaders and pioneers in the fields. For example, uh, if you look at um, conventional media, uh, especially broadcast, Chinese journalism, many, many um, high rank position, uh, very high up position, uh, they are our graduates, like a controller of a TV news um, channel like that. Uh, or uh, uh, the chief editor or deputy chief editor, uh, deputy chief editor of a newspaper like that, okay? And uh, outstanding alumni, we have uh, a lot. This is just, you know, a small percentage because uh, in view of timing, we cannot list out all, but I just want to show you uh, some graduates of different uh, year of graduation. So some are re very uh, uh, recent. So this is, uh, for example, Felix, Felix Tam, uh, 2020 financial journalism concentration graduate, is now a reporter of Bloomberg. Bloomberg is a very, very um, uh, 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 trustworthy um, uh, institution uh, for uh, providing financial news. And uh, it's very difficult to get in. And on the right hand side, um, photojournalist Eugene Lee uh, from our Chinese journalism concentration, and he's become a photojournalist. Uh, some of our students like to be become um, photographer, a video uh, a shooter. Uh, some like to do editing. So we have a lot of uh, graduates uh, following their hearts after graduation, doing something that they really enjoying. Uh, left hand side, uh, we have Herbert Zhang, uh, now working for Now TV. Um, he's an international journalism uh, graduate. So you can see, um, as I mentioned, the bilingual training, uh, he's focused during study is the international journalism, but he's now working for the uh, Cantonese um, uh, language. Uh, now TV channel. Okay, so, so we, our students are uh, very uh, um, uh, easy to adapt to a different uh, media work environment. Okay, and on the right hand side, Sharon, if you watch uh, TVB Pearl main news at 7.30 every night, uh, almost every night you see Sharon presenting as the main anchor. It's very difficult to get in for a non-native speaker. Okay, but Sharon sounds like a native speaker because uh, she majored our international journalism and she worked very hard on that. Okay, so um, you can see that. And then more outstanding uh, on this uh, PowerPoint, Ellen, Ellen, our IG graduate, now is the managing director of Vice Media. Right hand side, uh, we have uh, Ng Zi Man, Ng Chi Man. Uh, now uh, she's working for Facebook after being a China Beach journalist for many years. So she's now working for Facebook for a greater China region. Okay, so you can see it's not difficult. Even you work as a journalist for some years and then you switch to other industry or other profession because uh, you think you can think critically. And then uh, you master a lot of like, um, you know, interpersonal skills like that. On the left-hand side, uh, I think her nickname in Cantonese is Ju Fan, right? Ju Fan is, uh, she is a DJ of commercial radio. That's our broadcast journalist, um, journalism graduate. Uh, in the middle is Dominic uh, Lao Chong Yang. Now is the executive editor-in-chief of Ming Pao. And uh, on the right-hand side is uh, Thomas, is uh, our uh, journalism graduate in the 90s. Uh, he's a founder and director of uh, Yuan Tong uh, Financial Relations Limited. So he's doing financial PR work like that. So you can see, and uh, who can apply for our program? No matter you are good at science, business, or art subjects, we encourage you to enroll if you think that you, know, you have some interests. I'm not too sure I want to be a journalist or not. It doesn't matter, as I said. The training will change your life. But whether you join the profession or what is your career path, I think it's a bit too early to say now, especially you guys are so young, right? So why don't join something that you, you think is fun, uh, you enjoy doing it, and then you will do it well, and then you decide uh, which career uh, you want to join. And uh, if you are, are very sure 
oh, I really like news. I have a passion of new, for news, urge to be creative and strong sense of social responsibility. You know, I'm very determined to be a journalist. Of course, we welcome you. Uh, this is the right place. And uh, assessment criteria, Jupus, uh, for uh, local students, uh, we look at DSE for details. Please visit uh, this website and then you will find more. Uh, assessment for non uh, Jupus applicants, you're holding qualifications other than DSE, uh, like high deep, associate degree, you know, overseas diploma, like that. You're welcome to submit your applications uh, to our um, direct non Jupus admission scheme. Again, go to our admission, the AR Academic Registry website to find more information. And uh, program inquiry, uh, you can see, you can call, you can email, go to our website to search. We uploaded a lot of information regarding our program, our teacher's background, what they did in the past, you know, like that, and our, like study trip. And uh, how students uh, feel about that. We had uh, uploaded a lot of information there. Okay, so uh, time now is 4.31. And uh, we are very happy to answer your questions. As I said, uh, we welcome both students from online and also students uh, just next to me in the conference room. Uh, I think uh, they enjoyed our um, uh, facilities visit earlier. And now uh, the floor is open to you all. Most welcome to ask any questions in whatever language you prefer, okay? So, uh, and then uh, I will answer uh, in that language and then maybe translate uh, briefly uh, back to English uh, for students who can only understand English, okay? So uh, we are, uh, I will say that uh, we are very friendly environment here and we are very serious uh, uh, place to train journalists, but again, it's a very fun program, okay? So any questions? Uh, let me see. Oh, there's a one question from the chat room. Thank you. Uh, for Chinese journalism concentration, uh, is it correct to say that they use Chinese uh, for the lectures? Uh, for the current situation, uh, Chinese journalism concentration, uh, their concentration core, the concentration courses are conducted in Cantonese. Uh, I'll say that if you have a German language, I'm going to say that the German language will review it. And the concentration stream is going to be a good thing. But the German language is always there. The German language is always there. If you have a German language, the German language is always there. 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 广东话嚟到教授嘅，系啦，得唔得 ？OK， so that、uh, correct、uh, that for Chinese journalism concentration、uh, core subjects all are taught in Cantonese. But for a Mandarin a native speakers,、uh, usually they can listen to. If they can't, the teacher will help, and also、uh, they can、um, uh, submit. For example, like broadcast journalism. If it's Chinese broadcast journalism, I, I teach that. I allow students to、um, submit、uh, their voiceover, their video in Mandarin. There's no problem in Putonghua, no problem. Okay? Any other questions? Can you recognize the IELTS score as ESE English score? I think if DSE is the team, it will be DSE. 咁、呃、如果 I O 嘅成績係咪代替 D S E 呢？我就冇掌握呢一個資料。咁我相信可能、呃、同學，因為如果我哋係 j u p i t e r 嗰條隊咧，我哋一路都係睇、呃、D S E 嘅成績啦。如果 non j u p i t e r 嗰條隊咧，就係、是、因為你嘅 background 唔同啊。嚇、啊，咁、呃、應該係、呃、我哋可能要、呃、A R 嗰度咧、呃、比較準確地解答到你咯。係啦，咁你可以誒、呃、聯絡我哋 A R 嘅、啊、但係你話代替、呃我諗，如果你係 j u p i t e r 就一定要 DSE 咯，應該嚇。咁、啊、但係如果誒誒誒 non j u p i t e r 嘅，就真係要問翻 AR 啦，咁樣係啦。咁另外就有冇 admission score 大概幾多，同埋有咩科係有 waiting 嘅？啊，呢條問題問得好好喎、啊。誒、呃、有嘅，有科係有 waiting 嘅，就係、是、中文同埋英文。中文同埋英文咧，我係一點二五嘅計，中文計一點二五，英文計一點二五。
，所以係有 rating 嘅。大概嘅 admission score 咧就嗱，因為舊年咧我都話我哋不時咧隨住嗰個情況去改變嘅。舊年咧我哋咧就係、是、用分開收嘅新聞同埋 p r 分開收，咁所以我哋咧只能夠用翻二零二零合埋收嗰陣時。系啦，咁誒、呃、合埋收嘅時候咧，我哋嗰個 mean score 咧係二十五點一九嘅，二十五點一九咧呢個係四 C 二 X， 四 C 二 X 二十五點一九。不過都係嗰句，其實咧誒有時呢啲 score 咧好坦白講，我都做過學生誒，你、呃、一個參考指標，因為咧佢每年個上落咧，有時你真係估佢唔到嘅，因為可能有時同我哇乜咁高啊，咁啊出年唔申請咯，咁咁又唔係喎。咁突然間又哦好咁好好低啫喎，咁啊哇唔咁犀利去申請喎，同埋有時你預計你自己考個成績可能出嚟係比預期好噶嘛，係咪？咁你仲有得改噶嘛？喺即係公佈咗成績之後，所以點解唔追下夢咧？即、就、係、是、你有興趣，同埋因為我哋係點都會俾一個學位你，你出去就算你唔做記者，你去揾工啊做其他嘢，你係冇問題噶，係咪？你亦然可以考一啲大公司啊，或者考一啲非 journalism 嘅工作噶嘛，你都係有個 degree 噶。咁所以點解唔揀一樣你自己喜歡讀嘅呢？咁樣即係你喜歡讀先會讀,讀得好嘅。我成日覺得係啦。咁呢個當然係我嘅睇法啦。就算你唔揀，我哋都唔緊要嘅。你都希望你有一個好嘅 future 啦。誒、呃，跟住好啦，我用廣東話答咗佢先。跟住呢，誒，想選 DMC 數據與媒體傳播，但係數學唔好喎、哦，會唔會有影響呢？能否介紹多啲有關嘅課程？嗱，我哋 DMC 嗰、那個誒、呃、課程呢。其實都係喺同一個聯招曲嚟到收嘅，咁所以咧嗰、那個咧都係同其他一樣嘅，就唔係話我要將，因為我哋冇將數學嗰個 weighting 提高噶嘛，係啦，咁所以咧呢一、这個你又唔使太擔心嘅，即係喺入嚟嗰陣時，好啦，咁你入嚟咗之後啦，我哋頭先講我哋係 broad base 收生啦，咁你就要揀哦，我想揀誒誒讀 DMC 啦咁樣，咁嗰個我哋有一個簡單嘅內部程序。就係、是呃、我哋會有一條 formula 啦，到時咧入嚟，我哋就會通知同學，同埋頭先講啦，俾時間你考慮嘅，亦都俾時間你，你去同啲老師傾下，因為你而家諗，哇係咪好難㗎？咁到時你咪同 DMC 嘅老師傾下咯 ，DMC 嘅老師就話俾你聽，哦其實咧我哋係教乜教乜嘅，嗱有啲同學數學咁樣都 OK 㗎，或者點，即係你有一個過程去真係比較近距離接接觸 DMC。OK， 咁跟住之後呢，你先至會選啦。咁我哋經過嗰個過程，咁如果你入到啦，咁、呃、你去讀嗰啲科嘅時候呢，我都好相信老師個別老師都會睇住你個進度，即係我哋都通常係小班啦，咁都會睇住佢進度去、呃、指導你，或者需唔需要你有 extra 嘅幫忙呢？咁樣。咁所以我就覺得同學又唔使太擔心嘅、啊、我我數學都唔好嘅，但係我覺得我都讀過一啲 data 嘅 course， 我覺得好有用囉。即係坦白講就係，尤其是而家嘅趨勢都係要處理數據啦，係啦。咁多謝你條問題。咁跟住咧就係二零二二年嘅收生形式係咪都會合併收生，定係好似二零二一年咁樣分開？唔該你，唔使客氣。誒、呃、係會合併，合併咧就係誒頭先講嘅 major 合併啫，即係話咧我哋會係 journalism 同埋數據媒體 ，PRA 同埋 advertising。咁呢啲咧，如果你想讀呢幾樣嘢咧，你係應該揀同一個聯招曲，就係、是、我哋今日一路講嘅啦，就係、是、聯招曲二三一零 J S 二三一零，係啦。咁誒呢一個係今年嘅一個新安排，因為舊年咧我哋係分開咗嘅，所以今年你記住啦。如果你想讀 P R， 你想讀誒、um, advertising 呢幾樣嘢 ，journalism 同埋誒 digital media major 咧，你一定係要揀二三一零。咁誒、呃、再強調係不設面試嘅。唔需要面试，系啦，得唔得？咁入到嚟先至再跟我哋内部嘅机制去 L K， 翻你系边一条队？咁有时咧，诶，同学都唔使太过紧张嘅，就系、是、因为有时咧，你入咗去之后，你了解多咗咧，你又发觉，哦，原来我想象嘅张脑唔系我未入嚟之前咁噶，因为我读过一个学期，我又发觉咁样、哦，咁可能你你自己个谂法会转咗啊。係啦，咁所以亦都你哋咁後生，唔使話一早定曬型咯。同埋其實好多 journalist 最後都係做咗 PR 嘅，係啦，即係頭先我都講啦，因為 PR 好闊嘅個 spectrum 有人做 branding， 有人做、呃、customer relation， 好多嘢嘅。咁、呃、你可以考慮。好啦，咁我我哋應該有下一條嘅，我放低先啦，移一移個 Q 線等等。好，誒中文新聞專業有冇機會到國內或者係其他國家嘅大學交換？誒、呃、啊，而家呢啲問題都好高質素啊！嗱，其實咧，我哋就唔係淨係話
邊一個新聞專業嘅。我哋個制，我哋個運作呢，即係我而家就會唔到話有邊間大學邊間大學咁樣啦。咁但係呢，其實喺大學嘅層面呢，我哋係、呃呃、全球呢係有、呃、合作嘅 exchange 嘅合作伙伴嘅。咁嗰個其實亦都喺我哋學校誒嘅、呃呃、有關網頁呢，係應該係登咗出嚟嘅。咁你就可以睇到我哋有唔同地方都有嘅，係啦。咁、呃、究竟、呃、有邊一間啊？邊個國家啊？呃邊度啊？兩岸三地啊，或者點樣咧？咁同學可以上翻去睇咯，就唔係話淨係中文新聞專業，係啦，即係你任何一個 major， 你讀電影，你讀乜，你讀 history， 其實你想去交流咧，我哋大學都有一個機制，就係你、呃、申請咁樣咯。咁通常提一提同學啦，就係、是、如果你要去交流咧，你、呃、第一年讀完就申請噶啦嘛，咁你個成績唔可以太差噶，因為。呃、好嘅大學咧，其實佢都會想收好嘅學生，即係個成績好少少嘅學生咯。係啦，咁跟住咧就係、是、讀新聞有咩條件一定要具備啊？誒、呃、嗱，其實冇一條方面嚟嘅，我自己係呢度畢業啦，我做咗十二年記者嘅正職、呃。我覺得讀新聞咧，其實最緊要最緊要咧，真係唔係好多嘢嘅啫，因為好多嘢係可以靠勤力補翻嚟嘅。我覺得最重要咧就係你有興趣。同埋你嘅語文能力係去到一定嘅程度，佢一定程度唔係一定要五星星咯。其實溝通理解得到就得噶啦。同埋而家我哋講嘅 journalist 都係好多媒體噶啦，係咪？咁有啲人可能佢拍嘢噶嘛，淨係諸如此類咁。但係誒、呃、新聞咧，其實係眾人嘅事啦，係公眾利益嘅事，就唔係話你寫日記係咪關於我琴日去咗邊咁樣唔係啊嘛。所以其實你對個世界好好奇嘅，嚇點解會咁嘅咧？點解會發生咁嘅事嘅咧？啊！嗰、那個人嘅故事好有趣喎、哦，咁同公眾有咩關係呢？點解公共政策會咁啊？咁即係你只要有個好奇心，你係好想知得多啲呢。你問我呢，其實你就啱讀㗎啦。即係個門檻唔係即係話要好高，唔係咁樣嘅。係新聞嘅、呃、譬如你嘅 new sense 可以培養嘅。你嘅哇，我滿口懶音啊 ，Bonnie， 唔緊要嘅，我哋會教你㗎嘛，可以執嘅。嚇、啊，哇，我唔靚喎，咁樣做電視，每個人都有佢靚嗰面㗎。你未執啫，係咪？你而家讀書係咪？讀到即係、就是、好辛苦啦。咁你又未打扮，誒、呃、冇錢係咪？又未畢業咁，即係嗰啲外表啊，嗰啲嗰啲技巧啊，嗰啲其實全部都好容易處理。反而係你係咪有一顆心就真係好好奇啊，好想知多啲世界嘅嘢。咁如果係就啱讀噶啦。咁跟住咧就係、是、畢業作品一定要交新聞故事。誒畢業作品有兩個嘅，一個咧就係、是呃、可以揀寫論文，寫論文咧就、呃、可能、呃、新聞、呃、或者係傳媒或者係傳播學有關嘅，其實都有機會係被接受嘅，係啦。咁至於話如果你要拍嘢啦，或者我要做一個、呃呃呃、我哋叫做 final year project。那個 project 我唔揀論文，我就拍嘢或者做訪問，咁嗰個就要同新聞有關啦，得唔得？即係寫論文咧，你可以係個理論層面，誒、呃、同新聞、新聞學嘅理論啦，或者係同傳播學嘅理論有關，或者到時你係攞一啲新聞嘅 case 咁，咁其實都冇問題嘅。呢、這、一個就要睇下你跟邊一位老師咯。我哋有好多老師俾你揀嘅。咁 admission score 係咪成咗一點二五啊？請問 admission score 係咪已經成咗一點？係唔係嘅？唔係嘅，嚇。好，誒、呃，跟住 interview 會問乜嘢？係咪個別小組嘅同事答咗啦？我哋二三一零咧係不設面試嘅，冇 interview， 係啦。如果講嘢唔係太 fluent， 會唔會讀得好辛苦？嗱，我諗呢個同學咧有啲謙虛啦。我又唔知咩叫唔係太 fluent 啦。可能你每個人講嘢咧就誒有佢嘅好處同埋唔好處嘅。譬如有啲人可能佢真係比較怕醜嘅，有啲人咧就信心又唔夠啦。誒、呃，所以即係好哋話叫做甩甩咳咳、結結巴巴或者點樣。咁誒、呃，我就覺得誒、呃、最緊要你願唔願意行出你誒呢、呃、一步，就係、是。我想讀嘅，不過我覺得我唔係好流利咯，咁樣。咁你可以去試下，因為我哋有唔同嘅 concentration 同埋唔同嘅 stream。譬如你 broadcast 咧，誒、呃、講嘢係要多啲嘅。咁但係我哋亦都有同學係佢本身自己講嘢唔算好叻，但係佢就係入咗嚟個 course 就提升咗同埋改進咗自己啦，咁樣咯。但係有啲同學嘅諗法咧就係、是，嗯，我都講嘢唔叻噶啦，咁我去讀寫嗰啲啦，多啲、呃。或者我做幕後拍啦，咁樣。咁其實個崗位有好多嘅。
即係喺新聞行業裏面有好多崗位。咁、呃、我都會講都係嗰句咯。你哋咁後生，其實即係點解唔放膽試呢？咁樣係啦。咁跟住咧就係、是、我對學術研究有興趣。能否喺 undergrad 嘅時候選修跟學術研究有關嘅課程？我、哦、咁當然係啦，我哋嘅課程咧唔係淨係技術嘅，我都話好多人係、呃、未必好了解我哋、呃、undergrad 嗰個課程內容，就成日都以為哦你做新聞啊，你淨係教剪片拍嘢乜乜乜，唔係我哋有好多同學術研究，譬如我哋有必修嘅 research method 啦，即係話你要做論文，你要去 qualitative、quantitative。究竟係應該個 approach 係點樣啦？誒、呃、個方法係點啦？做研究嘅方法啦，我哋好多呢啲咧都係必修嘅課程。咁亦都所以係因為咁咧，我哋讀研究院啊，即係唔係入行做記者，但係繼續讀書、讀研究院、讀 PhD 嘅同學咧，其實個數字係一路升嘅，係啦。咁所以，但係其實人各有志啫。有啲人就去真係做 journalist， 誒、呃、我唔再做研究啦，或者點。但係兩面嘅即係理論同埋實踐咧，其實我哋嘅課程都可以滿足到嘅。咁跟住就再睇有問題，誒、呃、有冇去年畢業後嘅就業率作參考？誒頭先我哋誒、呃、其中個 PowerPoint 都講咗嘅，係咪？誒、呃、就係、是、我哋誒、呃、有嗰、那個係誒 school 嘅，不過誒、呃、如果你話張老咧就係、是、誒、呃、我哋有誒、呃、我而家冇數喺度，但係我哋誒、呃、以往咧誒張老嘅同學畢咗業之後咧浸大，如果入行做記者咧，其實嗰個比例都高嘅。係啦，都高嘅。咁而家啱啱同事俾咗我有個二零二零嘅 graduate 啦，咁就係即係呢個頭先係 PowerPoint 咯，就係話百分之九十七嘅學生咧喺畢業六個月內就揾到全職嘅工作，而誒嗰個平均收入係十六 K 咯，即係一萬六千蚊。係啦，咁誒呢一個係誒個就業前景，呢、这個係平均咯，即係有因為因為當你去譬如你誒舉個例，你考一啲好大嘅企業或者政府工，咁誒嗰啲人工可以係。四萬以上咁樣，我哋都有啲咁嘅同學嘅，係啦，咁所以睇下你去邊一行咯。好，謝謝講解，唔使客氣，我哋好開心同你分享。我有興趣申請去海外大學 exchange， 但係疫情情況似乎唔容易去外國。現時大學有咩安排？請。學生留喺香港先學習啊！呢、这個亦都係好好嘅問題啊，即係好 timely 我哋叫做好有時效性嘅問題。嗱、啊，疫情都已經超過咗即係年幾啦。咁、啊、最初嗰兩個 semester 咧係誒，以我所知咧係真係停曬噶啦，因為都飛唔到啦嚇。咁、啊、但係誒啱啱九月呢個 semester 咧，我哋有同學已經出咗去啦，即係已經去咗 exchange 啦。係啦，咁而家已經喺海外啦，啊咁好開心咁樣上緊堂啦，啊咁當然啦，就呢、呃這個亦都好視乎、呃、你自己屋企贊唔贊成你去啦，你想去嗰間學校誒佢、呃、開唔開啦，俾因為譬如有啲國家佢如果唔係公民有啲時間佢刪咗噶嘛。啊，譬如澳洲咁樣有段時間其實係唔唔入得啊咁樣啦，咁誒嗰啲時間咧誒嗰個學期咧，我哋有啲同學咧就上 Zoom 嘅嚇，咁、啊、有啲同學咧就我 defer 啦，即係我吞後啦，我呢個學期唔去住啦咁樣，咁誒、呃、大學都盡量希望，其實我哋好鼓勵同學出去嘅嚇，咁、啊、所以我哋嘅誒 policy 咧，我哋嘅政策咧係好 friendly 嘅，就係、是、總之。希望可以送到同學出去，因為咧 exchange 咧個情懷係唔同嘅，同埋都係交香港嘅學費嘅，所以咧係都幾抵嘅，即係坦白講，即係一個好平嘅方法去學外國讀下書咯。咁我覺得去外國讀下書對每一個人都係好嘅咁所以如果係你就盡量申請，都係嗰句 GPA 唔可以太差㗎，成績唔可以太差㗎。如果唔係，你可以揀嘅大學咧就唔係好多咯因為佢都會睇你嘅成績嘅，係啦。咁跟住咧就係、是嗯你會唔會係任教老師之一啊？係啊，我係任教老師之一嚟嘅，我都教幾多科嘅。嗱，我我嘅背景就係我喺呢度嘅 international journalism 啦，嚇咁所以咧我係英文嘅 train 出嚟嘅。咁但係咧我就去咗電視做咗十年嘅，嚇我係做個 now， 係咪未做 now 嗰陣時 now 未有我老，我做個 cable， 做個 TVB。跟住做過以前 ATV， 我做過香港電台，係啦，咁、呃、所以我喺 broadcast 即係 video 啊，用聲啊咁樣，咁我而家都仲喺港台有做節目啦，又喺啲雜誌度寫嘢咁樣嘅，啊，咁、呃、基本上我會教、呃、video 為主嘅科啦，同埋我會教 anchoring 啦，而家 anchoring 有時我教下啦，有時就俾同事教啦，即係 train 主播啊、發音啊嗰啲我都會訓練啦，同埋我係教 l 嘅，因為其實我係、呃、律師嚟嘅。
係啦，咁所以、呃、譬如點樣保障同學採訪唔會話受到誒、呃、哇、呃、會犯法啊？你知而家好多法例啊，好多嘢啦咁樣。咁我哋嘅角度都係我哋要保護我哋同學合法又專業咁樣做到採訪咯。係啦，咁跟住咧就係、是嗯Oh wow! Thank you for your briefing. I visited the journal studio in your school this morning. Thank you. Learned that there's a new virtual facility, green room. Hi la. Can you tell us more about this facility? Thanks again. Okay, that is called a virtual set. Uh, so basically, um, is a studio. So for students who have never visited there yet, is like um, you can uh key something onto it. Now, 如果廣東話嚟解釋咧，我哋就叫做虛擬嘅一個誒錄影廠啊。咁即係話咧，喺個錄影廠裏面咧，我哋係有啲綠色嘅幕或者藍色嘅幕。咁你就企喺嗰度啦。譬如我而家咁啦，我後面呢個傳播學係咧個板咧係真嘅，但係如果佢係假嘅話咧，我就會變啦。我而家就會變咗誒維多利亞港，係啦，我會變咗山頂，係啦，諸如此類咁。咁誒、呃，但係我就唔係一個平面喎。我哋呢一個新嘅 facilities 咧，就係、是、佢有啲 track 啦，同埋我哋會。教埋同學咧點樣去誒設計一啲嘅圖啊各樣嘢，咁令到咧你成個新聞報導喺嗰個表達手法上嘅 presentation 咧有好大嘅分別嘅，即係譬如我舉個例啦，我哋天氣咁啦，咁落雨喎，咁我而家話啊將會落雨啦，點點點點點，但係到有呢一個 virtual set 嘅時候咧，可能你就會見到我。誒擔住把遮啦，咁其實冇雨嘅喎，咁但係擔住把遮，跟住好似有啲嘢落啦，跟住我就話好大雨啦，將會或者點，即係成個表達咧係會誒令你深刻印象好多，有趣好多，同埋生動好多嘅。咁呢一個咧係好好消息嚟嘅，就係、是、因為我哋啱啱九月整起嘅啫。咁即係話如果你哋入到嚟咧，你哋都係第二屆用啫，仲係新嘢嚟嘅，係啦。咁所以誒幾、呃、好玩嘅，係咁我哋嘅同學都會誒、呃、做唔同嘅誒 news program 啦，即係佢哋會我哋同學好叻嘅，會自己拍。自己剪、自己化妝、自己錄音、自己出鏡，跟住所有嘢自己做曬嘅。其實咁，我都係老師，我哋係睇有冇犯法，有冇唔道德，有冇呃人，或者有冇啲嘢係錯咁樣咯。咁誒、呃、就會好放手俾同學做噶啦，係咁樣，好冇？咁跟住咧就係、是嗯好，咁而家就四点五十二分啦。或者现场有冇同学有问题 ？online 嘅暂时就答晒啦，系啦，随便系啊。或者你哋心里面有啲疑团、哦，点点点咁，系啦。咁嗱，我以往啦，我哋以前咧喺譬如疫情之前咧，疫情前咧，好多同学咧就成日都会好担心，觉得自己唔够好啊。唉，我又唔靓，咪做做电视。哎，好多懒音，我又乜乜，唔好惊，唔使嘅。即系如果你识就唔使读啦，系咪？即係如果你識寫嘢，你又樣都好，咁、呃、我會覺得都係、呃、年青人咧係要追夢嘅，咁都要食飯嘅噃，係咪？咁但係喺你揀呢個 degree 嘅時候，如果你覺得你好大興趣咧，就報啦嚇。就係因為我哋俾你嘅訓練咧，係令到你做各行各業都唔會有問題嘅嚇。咁呢個我哋好有信心嘅，係啦。仲有冇其他嘢？有冇問題啊？隨便發問，係仲有一條係嘛？睇睇先。哦、oh, ，我知道你哋有 HKBU Fact Check Service， 哇！呢、這個同學好勁啊！我哋 Fact Check Service 都知啊，係啊，真係啊！我哋嘅誒好大嘅一個 project 嚟嘅，最近學生都有機會咧學到 Fact Check 知識同埋技巧。乜會一個好重要嘅部分就係教你乜嘢？點樣去 verify 一單新聞？喂，我收到呢樣嘢喎，咁樣話咁樣會會肚痛啊，食咗會有癌病啊，或者點樣啊？咁係咪真㗎？」嗱，我哋要搞清楚咧，假消息同假新聞係兩回事嚟㗎、啊。我哋成日講 fake news 咧，好多其實喺網上流傳嘅，我哋其實叫做 disinformation 嚟嘅啫，即係佢係一啲嘅錯誤或者唔準確嘅資訊，但係唔係所有資訊都係新聞嚟㗎嘛。我哋講嘅新聞係唔同嘅、呃，我哋係誒誒會教同學點樣去 verify 一啲 facts， 有人講咗樣俾你聽啦，究竟我叫做事實查證啦，嚇、啊、咁、呃、我哋會喺成個新聞學裏面有呢一樣嘢啦，我哋亦都有個別嘅課咧，直情叫做 fact checking 嘅，係啦，咁同學係可以選修啦。
可以、呃、有一啲嘅、呃、exercise 去學點樣做 fact check。咁我哋嘅 fact checking 嘅 project 咧係好好嘅，就係、是、因為我哋定期都會發放一啲、呃、我哋覺得、呃、可以去追查睇下啊係咪咧嘅新聞咁樣，同埋我哋同海外亦都有聯繫嘅，海外嘅 fact check 嘅 centre 係啦。咁而家今時今日好重要，因為資訊太多啦，實在究竟係咪真咧？講嘢係咪啱咧？咁樣咁誒，好好喎。非常之高質素嚇，今日嘅問題，我今日做第三場，我講真嘅，今日嘅問題係最,最高質素，係啦，我睇下仲有冇其他先。Oh, thank you， 唔使客氣。I thanks for all of your participation and all the questions。咁誒，而家係四點五十五分。咁誒，按我哋嘅 schedule 咧，就我五點完嘅。係啦，咁所以如果有問題，你哋可以再問，咁或者同步我都可以講下以往我哋收嘅同學嘅問題啦。咁、呃、同學咧就會比較擔心、呃、就係話，譬如我要 international journalism， 我英文唔好喎、哦，咁即係等於好似頭先讀 data 嘅同學，我、哦、數學唔好喎、哦、，computer 唔得嘅，點點點，我都係嗰句啦，得就唔使讀啦，係咪？咁樣樣好叻就唔使學啦。咁不過你都要需要有一定少少嘅程度嘅嚇，咁、啊、但係嗰個程度咧就唔使你自己決定。你報咗你入嚟，我哋咪再、呃、我都話我哋唔叫做 interview 嘅，我哋其實係一個好似一個面見，同埋我哋會有好多 social 嘅 events 啊，譬如我哋有 orientation， 我哋有飯局，同你哋食飯傾偈，同埋你上堂啊，好多你同老師可以約見啊，咁、那個過程裡面咧，其實你會比較多發現到自己啦。哦，原來我啲英文唔係咁差嘅 ，OK 嘅，原來我寫到嘅咁樣，又或者你發現得到個學科啦，咁你到時先做決定都未遲咯，係啦。咁我哋好多同學咁，咁我我坦白講，我係 international journalism 噶嘛，嚇咁，但係我嘅 career 主要都係 broadcast 咯，嚇我做咗十年電視台，嚇十年有多啦，咁我做過英文報紙咯，嚇咁誒，所以其實誒每個人佢嗰條路咧都唔係你而家。哇！我入咗 BU， 我條路就定曬啦。哇！我就讀新聞系，就一定係做記者，唔係嘅。即係人生嗰個有趣嘅地方，坦白講，好多嘢係唔到你規劃曬所有嘢咯。但係你又唔可以完全規劃，就係咁啦。好，咁仲有冇冇啦？係咪啊？等先係。係啦，因為唔想漏咗啦。如果唔係，唔好意思。咁嗱，誒、呃，好多謝你哋今日出席啦。無論係 online 或者係。現場嘅同學啦，家長啦，或者老師，誒咁我哋好開心可以有機會等你了解多啲我哋嘅，無論你係咪揀我哋唔緊要嘅，希望你咧有好好嘅誒聯招嘅成績入到你最想嗰個學系，誒然後咧就一個燦爛嘅人生。咁如果你誒好有興趣嚟我哋度，我哋當然當然歡迎啦。誒有問題咧可以再誒同我哋嘅同事聯絡啦。譬如你個別哦，我係 non do 嘅喎，我點樣點樣誒會唔會有啲你係多？少少 information 咧，咁我哋同事咧一定會解答你哋嘅。咁希望有機會可以見到你哋誒嚟到浸會嘅大家庭啊。So thank you so much for all of you as spending whole hour attending our information session. Ah,、uh, thanks for all the questions. They're very high quality. And、uh, no matter you pick HKBU or not, we wish you a bright future. And、uh, bye bye. Thank you. <laughs>